Nero as a visual collaboration platform lends itself particularly well to customer journey mapping. How? Let's explore in this video. Along the way, we'll cover setting up for journey mapping on an infinite board, some useful Miro features to help journey mapping, and some final steps to finishing up. We'll start by opening up our main project board. This board consolidates all our work in one place. It is home to our existing artifacts, including past research and insights, and our user personas. This is one of Miro's greatest strengths when it comes to journey mapping. Everything we need is gathered on this single infinite board. We'll now add our journey map to it without worrying about running out of space. Miro has a great customer journey map template that we can use. Let's add it to our board. Here, we have space to include a brief snapshot of our selected persona. We can easily link back to specific parts of our research from here if we want to call them out. These columns represent the steps of our journey. We can customize them as we need. Click this icon to add a column and create a new step. Select and drag columns using these three dots to rearrange our steps. Or select a column and click this button to remove a step entirely. Having the personas and the steps front and center will help us stay aligned and respect our scope throughout the process. Now let's select the map and copy its link to share with our participants so they'll go straight to it when they enter the board. This way, they won't be overwhelmed by everything else that's on the board. We can be sure that all participants start in the right place. And here they come. Time to get started. Journey mapping is essentially working in our own team to transform everything we know about our customers into a visual story. Participants will create stickies or cards to build that story and add emojis, reactions, or even images to make the story really come alive. If we need to refer back to our research or past work as we're mapping, we'll just head over to the relevant part of the board, click on our avatar, and select Bring Everyone to Me. And once we're ready to go back, we'll head over to the map again and everyone will follow. This is another reason why Miro works so well for journey mapping. We can easily guide the participants back and forth between our past work and the map without ever leaving the board or losing anyone along the way. When it comes to mapping customers' feelings and emotions, we can use Miro's line tool to create a sentiment line and make those highs and lows stand out. We'll use the shortcut L to select the line tool and draw a line to represent neutral sentiment. Then we'll duplicate the line and add curves to it by dragging these blue dots to represent the customer's actual sentiment. We can add as many curves as we need or delete any extras by double-clicking the white dot. Lastly, to keep our wider team and stakeholders informed, we can either share an image of the map with them or invite them directly to the map. And one final cool thing about creating a journey map in Miro, it's already digital. No need for extra steps of taking pictures of a wall of stickies or typing out action items. We can get to work right away.